So you said 150 years old? Uh-huh. Guaranteed to have no nails? I can't guarantee it. <laughs> That's why I was hoping you'd have a, a, a detector. Yeah, I've got a detector. We'll check them out. And most of the time when I've found nails broke off, it's little bitty nails. Yeah, usually that's how it goes. And it, it won't really hurt your blade, will it? Little bitty nails? Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll throw them out of set. It'll yeah. throw the blade out of set oh, God. is what, it, what it'll do. Yeah, nails are pretty bad on a yeah. sawmill blade. There's some of them. Uh, if it's got nails in it, there's no way we can knock them out from the other side. Not something this so thick. It, I mean, I can see some broke off in there right there. Those circle marks are beautiful. Yeah, there's a nail right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, they got there's nails. a nail right there. Uh -huh. Oh man, these are yeah, full they got nails. a bunch of them in here broke off. See, Ooh, we, that's what I'm afraid of. See, there's one right there. So that's yeah, why we'll, I was gonna cut the cut the ends off and say most of them got it in the end. Well, we'll uh, put them up on the mill and and put the metal detector on mm -hmm. it. And uh, do the best we can. sawed so that we cut them cut wide boards or do you want these narrow ones from the top like this so you'd get a eight inch board there but i'm worried about that split yeah and me you get too. a six inch board there but it looks a little more solid well yeah you're right i'd rather cut it like this okay and because when you get down to that you can cut a piece out of this and just throw that in the way if right. it's all busted up okay. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Super. I love the look of wood. Beautiful. Stuff out of wood. Look at how tight those growth rings are. Uh huh. Very this old. Is just so they were old when they cut them down. Oh yeah. <laughs> if it's if it's at least thirty rings in an inch, it's hot pine. It's real hot pine. Yeah, I have one at home that had forty-one rings in an inch. 
And this stuff is just incredible. Mm -hmm. We'll try to do one more on that and we got a few nails on that, but I'm not surprised. Those won't be the last ones today. But yeah. Man, that is some pretty stuff. Yeah, it is, ain't it though? Oh, you got it? Yeah. So, yeah. Alright, let's put it, go ahead and put it on there. That's far enough, you yeah, be yeah, I'm nails. not going any farther with that. One. Yeah. Some nice stuff too. Yeah. Well, that's about like a two by. Yeah. And I can still make stuff out of that. Pretty. So I cut that. That's some pretty stuff. Growth rings are so tight. Mm -hmm, I know it. So see what's happening here. See how I got so thick on one end? Uh huh. What's happening there is I've, all I've got in the tank there is water, uh -huh. and it's really not doing a good job lubricating it because uh -huh. it's just so pitchy and sappy. I really need some diesel fuel in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that just the, that's amazing. So I'm putting some diesel fuel in my tank here instead of just straight water because we're getting a lot of sap buildup. This stuff is just basically pure heart pine. And uh, we're going to put some diesel in the tank and see if that's going to clear everything up here because it's not cutting well. It's leaving a lot of bad saw marks and it's wandering some. So I'm hoping that'll clear it up and we'll be back in business here. So guys, that was just one single pass with the diesel in the tank instead of water, and look at how much it cleaned it up. That's pretty remarkable. I'm struggling with my camera focus this morning. But y'all can tell, lots less sap and a lot, lot cleaner cut on the board oh, yeah. as well. <laughs>
don't think I want to go any farther. Yeah. Yeah, I want to move it. There's a bunch of nails on the other side. Yeah, that was a nice one. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do that one What's going on in this? Okay. What else? You were supposed to go get some lunch. Vice grips. Oh, vice grips. <laughs> Mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have a vice grip for that one. Because mine's got the fork in it, wanna try it? Yeah, try yours. Yours seems to be digging a lot better. Mm -hmm. And it's got that sharp wedge in it. There you go. Ah! Got it. Got it. Finally. <laughs> that was a bad one. I don't know. But look how short it is. That little bitty piece was that hard to get out. I think so. That's what I, I think was we thinking. Can, I think we can try one more. Yeah. That's about as far as you need to go on that one. One more board. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we need to go any farther. No, no, I, don't need I think that's mm -hmm. the last cut will be full of nails. Mm. I mean, we might get away with the next one, but I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't do one more. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I heard it kind of brush something. There's something going on right there, but I, it didn't hurt the blade. So if we can try to dig that, yeah, out, let me look at that. I think we can get a, maybe at least one more board out of it. Probably did it. Did that get it? Nope, I don't think so. Did that do it? No, no. There's still something going on.
See if you can see it. I, I can't see it. It looks like it came out. I don't. I think we're good. I don't see the head of it. Yeah, I think we're good. I think it was some kind of a remnant. It might have been. Of something. I think we're okay. <laughs>
You know, it's really remarkable that we only hit nails with two blades. Yeah, I yeah. think we, that was a risky, yeah. that was a risky, risky operation. So that was a pretty good. We got a bunch of boards out of that. I know. I figured I would have to build furniture and stuff with. Yeah, that's a lot of boards. And I got plenty of other lumber at the house in a building, but I just wanted these beams cut off because what well, you can't do nothing with them like they are. No. Yeah, that's a that's a great collection. Mm -hmm. I think when I said there was a dozen beams, I think there was more than that, wasn't it? I think I so. Didn't count them. Good. That is some beautiful, beautiful stuff. Mm -hmm. Ain't it though? Yes, sir. Make some pretty furniture out of that. Yeah, you don't, don't see that every day. That's been hiding under a house for how many years? Hundred years. Hundred years. The house itself was built in uh, in the 1880s. Uh huh. So that's like 150 years old. Well, it took, uh, four years ago when I tore it down, it was 143 years old at the time. <laughs> So you could say it's 150 years old. Let me see it. This is you having trouble with it? Oh, I don't know wrong. <laughs> well, that ain't going to pull up. So guys, that was undoubtedly some really, really, some of the densest heart pine and pitchiest stuff. And look, that blade is just as squeaky clean. And this is actually blade number three. We hit nails on a couple of them, unfortunately. But I think we did pretty good as far as nail strikes. But that diesel uh, does an amazing job keeping those blades uh, in really, really, really good working order there.